with mental health? Yeah. So like all throughout high school, I remember it wasn't even that long ago, but like, I just remember like feeling like anxious all the time. Like growing up, I remember having these like horrible stomach aches. Like I sometimes want to eat meals or, and my mom thought it was like maybe food and stuff. And so I like eliminated some foods cause I went to a doctor and that's what they suggested. I did a food journal. I like did all that you could imagine. And turns out it was just my anxiety because when you have anxiety, your like lining of your stomach releases like acid. And so it, like, and you've, if you have nothing in your stomach, it can hurt your stomach. And so that was my problem is like, I was eliminating these foods or like maybe not as eating as much. And then, so I wouldn't have a lot in my stomach and that's what was making my stomach hurt. And mm-hmm. so like in high school, I ran track and cross country. And then in college, I also continued and ran cross cross country and track um, for two years. And, um, and I still just remember feeling really anxious just about like, you know, stepping on the line and like doing workouts because I was an 800 runner. And so I would have these like short, quick workouts because the 800 is only two laps around the track and it's a fast turnaround. And so I just remember like being on the line, like feeling like I was going to throw up because like I was literally so anxious and like having wow. these distorted thoughts of like I couldn't do it but I I knew I could but it was just mm-hmm. my anxiety like telling me I couldn't wow that's interesting oh, because I, I don't know I always tell Cisco because he's a fitness trainer that I feel like he's always working out I feel like that helps him with his, his it does. Never, he's never anxious he never has anxiety I mean hardly <laughs> When I, I was like, like you, when, when <laughs> I was a kid, daily. Though, when I was a kid, like in, in, I remember telling Sharon, like in middle school, I went kind of through that same thing. Like I got, I was really small when I was in middle school. So like I got bullied a lot by other kids, but like physically bully, like people would pick me up and throw Aww. me around and punch me, you know, cause I was so little and it sucked. It really did. So like I went through this this phase where I like my stomach was always hurting. I didn't want to go to school. I was always sick. And like, dude, my parents took me to the doctor and I had all these tests done to me, you know, stool samples, you know, mm-hmm. what do you call that? Where they stick the tube down your mouth and they check your stomach out. I, so, oh, but I like, didn't like that, but that's on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, it, what it was, was all anxiety. I was scared to go to school and like see the kids that would bully me. So like, mm. yeah. I, so that's I a good through. point. You know, phys- uh, doctors, they don't like physical doctors. They don't really mm-hmm. think about mental health being an issue. Mm-hmm. They're trying to figure out what the physical issue is, but they're not exactly. really. Concerned. Exactly. They're not exactly. trained. And yeah. I think in all aspects of our life, not just in athletes, we need to start looking more into the mental health realm of things because like, in my opinion, I feel like I could have maybe gotten help a little sooner. Mm -hmm. Um, if like I, if people knew that it was not tomatoes or salsa, cause like those were the two things like I could eliminate cause those were (laughs) acidy like foods, you know? Uh And so like, instead of doing that, you know, we could have looked into the mental health, like, Oh, is there like a situation in your life that makes you feel a certain way, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. 